Hi everyone, it's Ali here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today is the day of my graduation ceremony for my master's degree from the University of Melbourne. Super exciting. I actually finished my course last year, but we just, I just never got around to actually doing it. I was also looking for work and that was kind of more important to me than um, my graduation ceremony, but I definitely wanted to do it because, um, well, I get to wear a cap. <laughs> so I've had three graduation ceremonies, quote unquote, in my whole life. I've had my bachelor's. And then I also, when I completed my um, Amy B music exams, I had done a piano A MUS, which is Associate of Music Australia, and then an L MUS, which is a Licentiate Music Australia. And for both of those ceremonies, you got to wear the black, um, the black robes and you had a ceremony. But this time it's my it's my master's degree with a cap and so I'm just going to get ready for it. It is now 20 past 10 and the ceremony starts at 2 but you're supposed to get there at 1. Uh, you're supposed to get there at least 1.30 so that you can actually go in. So you, they want you there 20 minutes before. Um, but you also should be picking up your academic regalia uh, within the two hours before. So from 12 to 2 is when you can pick up your robes and then 2 to about 3.30 is the actual ceremony. And then from 3.30 to 4.30 is the post event function. And then the two hours after and the two hours prior, you can have your photos taken. And I've booked that because I'm like, I don't want to have to stress about people taking photos. Well, pe I, people will still take photos. Like, I mean, I really think the University of Melbourne has such a beautiful architecture that I really want to get the classic kind of like in the architecture or in the grounds in Parkville. Um, but in terms of like the sort of your classic, like smiling with the, with the, professional photography that's going to be studio photography as well as the on-stage video and photography I just thought it would be nice to do it because I don't really plan I mean I don't plan on going back to uni again so this for me is the the last time now when I did my bachelor's in China we didn't actually all go on stage and get to shake the hand and so on and so forth so for me this is really special because it's my first proper university experience of doing a graduation ceremony so that's kind of the vibe. So I'm just actually doing a bit of research, <clears throat> excuse me, on um, what I should wear. So that was my own page, but I, cause I can't log in because I've got a new Google Chrome account for work. So it's just linked all to my work account and I don't have a work Instagram. Like we have a company Instagram, but anyway, so I'm just looking through like, um, Actually, my laptop's not great for that, but I'm looking through photos of what people wear because it's a black robe and a black cap. So I'm like, oh, do I want to wear a black dress and black shoes or do I want to wear a block color um, and nude shoes or black shoes? So I'm trying to keep it classic because I don't want to look back on this like 10 years from now and be like, oh, why do I wear like a bonded dress underneath? Like a bit cringe. Time of the, you know, time of what's it called like a passage it's like kind of a snapshot of the times but still i want to look back and not be like oh gotta explain that every time um so i'm gonna just look through like graduation photos of what people wear so i realized i i have a whole setup where my audio actually like i have a proper mic so I, I should actually do that. So I've got my mic in. Hopefully it's working. I'm pretty sure it is. Whoop. Um, anyway, and I'm a little bit pressed for time. So I'm not going to really be able to just tell you guys what I said before. To Sorry, to repeat, whoop, to repeat what I said before. This is going to stay. I just bought a bunch of new equipment. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't actually be like moving. But it is. So I think the best thing is either white or black. And I think if I were wearing a white dress, I'd want my nude shoes. And if I wearing, were wearing a black dress, I'd be 
wearing my black shoes. Um, I don't know if I have a white dress. I'm going to have to just try to find one because I have so many different things that I just didn't think it would be necessary for me to go out and buy like another dress or something. Okay, so I've decided white dress, white shoes. If I can't find it, then I will wear a black dress and black shoes. I think every other color. I'm just going to see. I'm just going to see what Melbourne Uni um, Masters colors are so that maybe I could just match. I don't know. What color? Oh, it was in my... um photo I'm pretty sure it's a yellow color so oh wait no I sent those tickets to my mum so just gonna check okay so it's yellow so it's lemon fully lined hood and trencher okay so lemon what goes nice with yellow it's so easy when you're a guy because all the guys just wear nice dress shirts. Um, some girls wear dress shirts too, but it seems most women wear um like a like like a dress. I want to make sure it's not too short though. Let me see. Okay, I'm gonna look through my closet and hopefully we will find something um that will be exactly what I want. Okay. Okay, so this is what I am wearing. It's just a simple nude shift dress with some nude shoes, nude palms that I have put some inserts in because they're all, you know, not super comfortable, but they're much more comfortable now that they've got a full insole and my hair and makeup obviously isn't done. I've just put in some little um, little diamond, uh, little diamond earrings, just something simple. Now I'm going to put in contacts and then do my hair and makeup.